Some women ruffled each other's hair looking for lice and nits. We hugged each other to keep warm. One always remembers the moment when someone wraps you in her arms. Maybe that's why more women survived, because meanwhile, men were dying like flies. The men also made friends among themselves, but it was different, there was more female solidarity than male, they were not willing to sacrifice anything for the other. That was the main difference between them and us. These are the words of a Holocaust survivor, who remembers the experience of living in a concentration camp and what it was like to seek the company of other prisoners to cope with the pain. The extermination centers did not distinguish by sex, and for all those who were locked up inside, life was hell. However, the testimonies indicate that the female population encountered extra torment, as they were the targets of the Nazis' sexual violence. Do not move from your screen, because in the next few minutes we will tell you everything about the suffering of women in the concentration camps. To understand this story, we must first understand what the Holocaust was. Between 1941 and 1945, the Third Reich and its collaborators carried out a systematic plan to exterminate the Jewish population. At present, specialists estimate that the number of victims reached 6 million, which represented two-thirds of the total number of Jews living in Europe. Of this total, two million were women. Once they entered a concentration camp, they were subjected to the same mistreatment and abuse that men experienced. They were constantly beaten, humiliated, starved, and used as slave labor. Added to this, they were subjected to different forms of sexual and gender violence. When a woman walked through the gates of a concentration camp, she would have a code tattooed on her arm to identify her. Next, the hair on her head and even her pubic hair were shaved off. Admission culminated in a degrading body inspection, which included a vaginal examination by a Nazi doctor. In this way, a tortuous process of dehumanization began, which aimed to strip the Jewish women of their feminine identity and turn them into empty shells, shadows of what they were, subjected to obey without hesitation. Despite the fact that National Socialist legislation prevented Aryans from having sexual relations with women of the supposedly inferior races, in practice this regulation was not complied with. The most blatant example was in Eastern Europe, where 80% of SS men were found guilty of raping female Jewish prisoners in the camps. In some cases, an entire posse abused a defenseless woman until she was left bleeding on the ground. Some prison guards had the disturbing habit of standing in the middle of the corridor that led to the gas chamber, and touching the private parts of the women who were being led to death. With their actions, the Nazis sought to destroy the minds of their victims, and in the case of women, they knew that the most effective method was sexual humiliation. One Holocaust survivor remembers it this way, Jews were forced to scrub the floor in their underwear, and then made to clean the toilets and eat what was inside the latrines. Their heads were plunged into toilets and then they were forced to walk around the field with their faces covered in excrement, with no chance to wash, while the guards yelled insults at them like dirty Jew. This kind of harassment brought serious consequences to the body of the victims. By the end of World War II, the reproductive capacity of many survivors had completely deteriorated. On the other hand, the frequency of rapes increased the possibility of pregnancy, and many Jews became mothers in the concentration camps. This added a new concern to the already terrible lives of these women, who now had to worry about the fate of these children as well. The sadism of the Nazis did not spare even infants, who at any moment could die horribly. The following testimony from a survivor illustrates this perfectly, SS members amused themselves by beating pregnant women with sticks and whips, throwing hungry dogs at them to tear them to pieces, or dragging them along the ground and kicking them. Sometimes when they collapsed from pain and passed out, they were thrown into cremation ovens while they were still alive. Living conditions in a concentration camp were desperate. Women were forced to work producing material for the Nazi war industry in slave-like conditions. They weren't even allowed to take a bathroom break, so many were forced to urinate on themselves. The diet consisted of small portions of poorly prepared broth that barely kept hunger away. 
Sometimes, when Germany was victorious in battle, the Nazi officers would allow the prisoners to eat a small piece of meat or bread along with their daily soup. However, this did not happen often, and food was so scarce that many women had to resort to selling their bodies for rations. Exchanging sexual favors with SS guards became routine, as for many Jewish women this was the only way to survive. A survivor remembers it in these words, at first, I was deeply disturbed by these types of practices. My pride and sense of integrity made it seem disgusting to me. But later, I saw that with the bread they gave me as a form of payment, I could feed the most hungry and save their lives. Another girl, thanks to prostitution, was saved from going to the gas chamber. Because of these situations, I began to understand why we were doing this, and I forgave us. The Nazis also made use of the sex trade and legalized it within the concentration camps. The officers believed that it would serve as an incentive for both male guards and prisoners to be more productive in their tasks. The brothels were barracks separated from the rest by barbed wire, inside which there were approximately 20 women forced to have sexual relations with the clients. Most had been brought from Ravensbrück, the all-female camp. Those who wanted to contract their services had to pay a small sum of money and undergo a medical examination to make sure they did not have diseases. Once passed, they were allowed 20 minutes alone with a woman. However, the truth is that intimacy was illusory, since the sexual act was supervised by guards who watched the client through holes in the wall. The slaves were recruited from among the prisoners in the camp by the SS, who promised them that if they joined the brothels, they would have access to a better standard of living. This included a personal room, soap, food in good conditions or a reduction in prison sentence. This sometimes provoked the anger of other inmates who saw the slaves as collaborators with Nazism. One of them recalls the following situation, one day we saw a woman who agreed to work as an SS prostitute, we caught her and beat her so brutally that she could barely move. I never knew if she recovered or not, but our fury was so much that we had to punish her this way. As we can see, life in a camp was brutal, and the women went through a true hell inside. We have reached the end of the video and we want to ask you, what do you think was the most terrible thing about the lives of women in the concentration camps? Leave us your answer in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about many more military events that left their mark on history.